Welcome to this GiftWorks video. My name is Steve Faithful, and in this video, I'm going to be providing the answer to a frequently asked question that we receive when people are importing information into GiftWorks. The first question I'm going to answer is this frequently asked question, which is, is it possible to update an address, phone, or email for an existing donor when importing? Well, the short answer to the question is yes, it is possible to update an address, phone, or email for an existing donor when importing, uh, but you have to make sure you follow one specific rule. Let me jump over to GiftWorks and show you what I mean. If I'm signing into GiftWorks and I'm going to go look at a donor, I'm going to look at Steve Faithful. You'll notice that under my contact info, Steve has an address, 100 Main Street, Lancaster, PA, 17603. And he also has an email address, steve at missionresearch.com. Well, as part of an import process, let's just pretend that I want to update this address rather than add a new one. Um, it's very easy when you're importing. If you were to map uh, an address to import as part of your import, then it's very um, likely that you're going to end up with another address rather than updating this address. But there's a very important thing that if you keep in mind that you'll be able to update instead of um, adding a new one. And, and that key piece of information that you need is this name right here. It's the name of the address. If I edit the donor, you can see it a little bit easier. Under address name, this address, I have this address name, which is home address. It's the title for the address. It identifies which address we're talking about. And if you know, in GiftWorks, you can have as many addresses, phones, or email as you want. And these titles simply designate or give you information about which, uh, what uh, address you're looking at or what email or phone. And so with that piece of information in mind, let's go do an import and let's update. We're going to do two things. I'm going to update an address and I'm going to add a new email and should show you how to do both. So I'm going to go and start an import. I'm going to I'm going to use an Excel file called update address. You'll see that in this Excel file I have the first, middle and last name of the donor. Then I have this address name column and I have an address city state and zip. And then I also have an email name and an email address column. I'm going to go ahead and map this information. I'm going to uh, these uh, these options aren't that relevant for what we're talking about today. So I'm going to simply first start off by mapping the name the first name, middle name and last name of my donor. That's going to make sure that my matching, just so I'm choosing the right donor to begin with, that's an important part of this process, make sure I get start with the right donor. And then when I want to update the address, the key, the, the most key piece is that when I'm importing from, um, when I'm importing from my file, so in this case my Excel file, this home address, if this home address, this address name matches to the existing address that's already within GiftWorks, it will update this address. If you either don't map this home address or you map to a different name, so if I did uh, work address or vacation address, then it would, and it didn't find a match, then it would also add a new address. So because this home address does map the m match the address that's already um, listed uh, with Steve Faithful, then it's going to update the address. And we can do that by, first of all, making sure I map address name. Like I said, if I didn't map this, then it would automatically add a new one. So I'm going to make sure I map this with the correct, with the matching name. And then I'm going to simply match the street, um, so I'm gonna map the street, the city, the state, and the zip code. Now for the email, I'm going to do something slightly different. This is a new email. I am going to map this to email, uh, email address one name, which this does not match. New email does not match the one that's already in there. The one that's already in there is just email. So this is new email. And I'm going to map the, under phones and email, I'm going to map email address one. So what my expectation is that because I matched, um, I mapped this uh, address name column and that this matches, home address already matches to what's already in GiftWorks, then it's going to update the address that's already in there. But because of my email, this does not match, this email name does not match, it's going to add this new email. So let's go ahead and see if that does that. Let's run through a quick test import. Click on next. Complete the import. And then click done, go over and see Steve Faithful. I should see if I go to my contact info, I'm going to see that instead of adding a new address, it updated the address that was there. Before it said 100 Main Street, now it's updated it to update that address, city, state, and zip. And under email, if you remember, because this new email did not match this email, it simply added a new email address. So the same, what I've showed you will apply for addresses, phones, and emails, and I trust that will help you better understand that you can update donors' addresses, emails, and phones. Um, and being sure you keep in mind the, uh, the address name or the phone name or the email name is the, um, is the key point to that.